Chapter 6 Bending Elastic and Plastic Section Modules So in general, section modules are divided into a two categories. A, the first one is elastic, elastic section modules and the second one is plastic section modules. So uh, we show the elastic one with capital S and, and plastic section modules with a capital Z. Let's talk about them in more detail. So the first category is elastic section modulus. If you remember from chapter six, sigma maximum is a bending moment times a C over our moment of uh, inertia. And C is a, a half of the section, half of the height of the section. So elastic section modulus defined as a capital S and that's a moment of inertia over C, which is the height of of the height of the section so in that sense we can call sigma maximum is m over s mm -hmm. so it means if we have a two cr uh, cross section with the same amount of area for example if both of them has the cross sectional area of 24 in square inches but the first one a has a height of 6 inch and B of 4 inch and the other is B of 3 inch times H of 8. So if we calculate elastic section modulus for, for them that's I over C and that's a bending moment about X axis for both of them is a 1 to base cube height over half of the height of the section which is H over 2 and that's a, a 1 6 of b h squared and that's a 1 6 of area times h so it means uh, with the same amount of area which is our case the section has the higher h has the higher modulus of section because the area is the same the one with the higher h goes with the higher elastic section modulus mm -hmm. So again, sigma maximum is bending moment over uh, elastic section modulus. And so we, one can say m y is i c times sigma y. Mm -hmm. And one can say m y is s times uh, uh, s uh, times sigma y. Mm -hmm. They are identical to each other. And let's now uh, jump to plastic one mm -hmm. and and definitely s is elastic section modulus so for the plastic section modulus uh, we we define plastic moment is just a area over two times lowercase z times sigma y mm -hmm. and we call that a over two times lowercase z as a capital z and we call that a uh, plastic section modulus. Mm -hmm. So capital Z is equal to A over two times lowercase c and, and lowercase c in plastic moment, uh, what happen is, uh, happens is, is the section goes to two uh, equal area, one in tension, the other is in compression. So the distance between their centroid is called the lowercase z. And the half of the area times the distance of centroid mm -hmm, to centroid is goes by a plastic section modulus and that's a capital Z. Mm -hmm, that's over here. Mm -hmm. So one can say mo plastic moment is capital Z times sigma y mm -hmm. because area over two times lowercase c goes by a, a capital c which is plastic a section modulus mm -hmm. so in plastic section modulus we define a factor which goes for different shape like a difference so a shape factor of k 
which is uh, stands uh, it's shown by k and also s f which is j factor and k and that's a a ratio of plastic moment to to plastic moment so we have different shape factor for different shapes so for example if we have a, a square or we have a rectangle the box goes by a shape factor of 1.5 and if we have a circle or uh, ellipse they goes by the shape factor of of 1.7 if we have a rhombus a shape factor is 1.2 if we have i shape i shape section mm -hmm, that uh, shape factor shape factor for e x axis goes by something like between 1.1 and 1.2 and and in y direction it just goes by one and half so it, it one can say in 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 y direction in v care axis you can consider a complete rectangle because that's a sf equal to 1.5 is standing for a, a a rectangle or a square and and for a, a triangle depends on the bending moment axis so if uh, depends on the bending moment axis we have we can get different shape factor for example it, shape factor in this scenario is 2.34 and in this scenario mm -hmm, is is a 2 mm -hmm. let's Uh, talk about some detail about the plastic section modulus in general by having more mass concentrated toward it in neutral axis so if we have more mass toward neutral axis we can have a higher shape factor so how that goes so and since it is desirable to get benefited from maximum flexural capacity of a section mm -hmm, of a cross section and on the other hand plastic deformations are not the, which are the permanent one and are not desirable so those cross sections with minimum shape factor are are the optimized one so we do want to get the the minimum a shape factor which are which are the optimized cross sections so let's so in that sense optimized flexural cross section is an eye shaped beam which you can easily see the shape factor the smallest shape factor within the, the shapes we, we reviewed is a eye beam shaped in in x axis that's 1.1 to 1.2 shape factor and how that says that that says the ratio of do you remember that shape factor is a ratio of plastic moment to elastic moment that's a something between 1.1 and 1.2 that says a difference between plastic moment and and uh, this one should be MP and MY. Plastic moment and elastic moment are, are very uh, close to each other. So in other word one can say in other word one can say maximum flexural capacity of, of section is has been utilized before reaching permanent deformations due to plastic moment because the, the elastic moment are desirable and we want to get them as close as possible to each other to get the maximum flexural capacity of the cross section though so that's why a i i beam a i shape beam are are very uh, efficient in terms of of a design for a structural uh, cross sections
So let's uh, put it into example. Mm -hmm. So show that the shape factor, we just talked about the numeric value of shape factor, but we didn't uh, show any logic or any calculation for them. So we want to uh, show that the shape factor for a rectangular cross section, as we told, is equal to 1.5. So in that sense, if we divide our section, do you remember the plastic moment, divide the section to two parts, uh, which is the uh, one is compression, the other is tensile part, and the difference between their centroid of the two sections is called the lowercase c. So if the total height is h, so the half part goes by h over 2, the other is h over 2. So one of these uh, distance is h over 4, the other is h over 4. So lowercase z is the distance between these two arrows, and that's a, a double a 2 of z over uh, h over 4, that's a h over 2 mm -hmm. from the, uh, the uh, a figure that's easily shown even without any calculation. So that's the difference between the two centroid of the section. So it means if we divide the section into, let's put it in an easier language even. So if that's a half of the section, h over 2, and that's the other half, the centroid for the top part is h over 4, for the low part is h over 4, if we add them up together, we get to lowercase z, that's h over 2. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a one component of, of a calculation of capital Z, which is a over 2 times lowercase z, which is this. So safety, safety factor, let's make it a bit clean. So shape factor, sorry, shape factor is just a plastic moment over elastic moment and that's we can calculate elastic moment that's i over c times sigma y that's a for a rectangular shape by height of h and width of b that's 1 to base cube height over half of the height which is h over 2 times sigma y that's 1 6 of b times h squared times sigma y which you already show, show, show that and, and and for the plastic moment that's a over 2 half of the area times uh, capital z times sigma y and half of the area is a, a half of b times h and a lowercase z is h over 2 that's the summation of two uh, distance of uh, between two centroid. That's h over two times sigma y, and that's one a quarter of b h squared times sigma y. And if you for calculation of shape factor, if you divide a plastic moment over elastic moment, you can easily get the numeric value of of one point five or six over four. The rest are cancelled out together, and you can reach to the numeric value of 1.4, which we already shown for a rectangular cross section. Let's uh, do another example. So, in the second example, we want to show that a shape factor for a circular cross section this time is equal to 1.7. Let's see how that goes. So it just says if we divide our rectangular, uh, our, our circular cross section to two half, and if you remember from centroid part, that's a, a centroid of a semicircle is just 4r over 3 pi mm -hmm. in, in centroid calculation. Mm, I think in the very early part of chapter 6, we talk about centroid and moment of inertia. So that that's we have a two. Semicircle, so the, the top part the semicircle it just goes by a one of four r over three pi. The other part is just go for the next part. So 
the z lowercase c the distance between two uh, equal cross uh, sections are just two times uh, twice of a, a centroid of a semicircle which is 4r over 3 pi mm -hmm. so plastic moment in that case is just i over c times sigma y and i for a circle is a quarter of pi r to the fourth over c which is the 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 radius itself so that's a one four p r cubed times sigma y and if you do the mass for a plastic moment it's just a over two half of the area times a capital z times sigma y and half of the circle is a, a, a half of pi r squared times a two y's of a 4r over 3p which is 8r over a, 8 times r over 3 pi times sigma y and that just gives uh, gives us 4 over 3 r cubed sigma y and then for shape factor if you simply divide plastic moment over elastic moment you can get this numeric value and that's if you simplify this equation that's 16 over 3 pi and that's the exact value is 1.69 almost 1.7 which we were looking for thank you we'll uh, solve more uh, example on, on elastic and plastic moment on next videos